Shulk, sh okay, th with this, like, matchup, um, to be, f I'm, I'm not even gonna lie, competitively, I don't know how well it does. I always play my goofy casual friends, who just wanna play Shulk because he's easy. <laughs> and then I'd be, like, dumb. So, in my experience, Shulk is annoying to deal with. He's kind of like a mini hero, if you think about it with the Monado arts going on. Speed, jump, uh, buster, smash. All those are very similar and shield are similar to what Hero has, you know, but his sword is so much bigger. <laughs> <laughs> they have somewhat similar answers, I think. Yeah. A lot of them being like, just time it out. No, literally, you can time out most of the buffs except for Psych Up. Literally, just time it out. Mm -hmm. But at least Shulk has a timer. Look, you can see the, the meter go down. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you saw Fun actually try to air dodge through the little um, the little travel ball of Kaboom, but just a little bit too late, unfortunately. Oh my but god, Smash Art mm -hmm. uh, forward air. All it's going to take at, like, what, 79 after hit? Mm -hmm. That's the thing. This is literally just it's the same matchup. I think that this is actually pretty even. I can't even lie. Um, Shou can live against a lot of heroes. Because of shield, I think Shou can actually live against oomph and psych up messes. Mm -hmm. I really feel like what is important to Fawn in this matchup is going to be that jump and speed because we've seen before like kind of the the answer to Vivi's hero is like you really got to mess with your timing and make them not comfortable in pulling up menu but getting sent off stage with shield. Uh. No one's comfortable there. Yeah, no. Vivi has sent Fawn all the way to the all the way off, and Fawn had pulled shield, and then I think they're actually trying to go for a jump just to get that extra uh, height while they're trying to jump at the stage, along with upbeat. But miss input went for backslash. Sucks for all of now, you. Now Fawn with Buster trying to get some. Uh, uh, I think that was supposed to be a an art cancel into Smash Art, but unfortunately not finding it. And Buster Art, unfortunately, putting Fawn at a Pretty high percentage here on their last stock of game one. That's it. Oh, jump art. That's not it. <laughs> I think Fawn actually canceled the art just in time for the uh, the last hit. So, because I'm pretty sure, you know, jump art does make you lighter. That mm -hmm. absolutely would have killed. It's just like a Silverado. That's really, that's really all it is. Jump. Uh, so it's just jump and speed mixed together. Yeah. It makes hero without uh, the without faster. the debuffs. Yeah, without the debuffs. <laughs> yeah, I think the biggest thing was just that the unfortunate uh, down air from Fawn. Not down air. Um, backslash. Yeah. Although I think that was probably just a stock reset tool. Yeah. Like, no, because get me out of here Fa quickly. Fawn had like made a made a face when it happened, so I don't think it was meant to be on purpose. I think that they're going for a jump Monado. Maybe. And just just messed it up. I think. Yeah, jump is to the right when you hold B. Yeah, no, I I, I actually think you're right. All right. It is really freaky, and I, I saw like the 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 frustration in their face. Yeah. Hello. Fawn has decided uh, no more Shulk. Two, one. <laughs> <laughs> um, production, I want to go. I'm kidding. <laughs> anyway, we got Pikachu versus Hero. This sucks. Um, Pikachu. I just believe that. People just it sucks. I think everyone agrees that Pikachu just sucks to play against. <laughs> Not even just hero players, just people no, in just, general. No, just in general. Like, like, there's like a hatred I, I get. It's not even Pikachu's fault. It's just, it's just seeing Pikachu be the mascot of Pokemon for so long. I'm sick of this special treatment. I hate Pikachu. <laughs> Dude, me with like every Gen One. Literally, Gen One is. I don't want to talk about it. It's mid. Anyway. I'll say it. Don't talk to me about that starter like poll that happened on Twitter. <laughs> that was funny. So back to this match with that hand. The biggest thing Hero's gonna have is bounce for um, the t the little Pikachu, Pikachu, little yeah. T-jolt. T-jolt. Basically Akuma fireballs. That scared me. Pikachu's faster, smaller. It's yeah. It has an insane recovery. It's, it's, it's gonna be really difficult for Vivi to, to pull out the win that they did the first game, unfortunately. And I, I don't think Fawn should have switched from Stroke. It's just that the one stock was just really unfortunate. Otherwise, it was a neck to neck competition the entire way, you know? Not like this. All right. That was smart. All right, all that right. That was cute. That was cute. I can't I appreciate lie. it. 
Although, I mean, spending more time off stage does give Vivi passive MP regen. So. Absolutely. Ooh, okay, risky. Uh, Uppy back on the stage. Vivi gonna be getting a heal. Actually, you know what? I do really like the way that Fawn pulled that out really early because we saw them like go really close to underneath the Smattlefield main platform, and now like now that it's in Vivi's head, it's like, all right, is Fawn gonna go to the other side of the stage? Nice. Ooh, That's it. Still getting caught by the kaboom. Pika P. Bye. I, ha I hate Pikachu. I'm so sorry. Not even in Smash. <laughs> I just hate. Just in general. The creation of that fictional character. <laughs> I wish. I wish Pikachu evolved into Raichu. That's my hot take. Anyway. Honestly, fair. That's my hot take. Raichu's so much cooler. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I, be I believe in Alolan Raichu superiority. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Shake my hand. You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyway. Anyway, but back to this game. Uh, Fawn now is struggling, whereas Pikachu would be really good in this kind of situation where Pikachu's, again, smaller, faster, has a bunch of projectiles that are so lingering and just really annoying to deal with. They're, they're struggling to back up percentage on Vivi as Vivi has on them. Yeah, right now. I mean, it, it kind of feels like maybe just a little bit of inexperience. I don't know how often Fawn pulls Never. out the Pikachu. Yeah, Never. that's that's kind of what I thought. I didn't want to assume, but <laughs> that's kind of what I thought. And so with a very like fast and precise character like Pikachu, like you really got to know what you're doing. Pikachu is a very good character. He, yeah. Kind of a deceptively is. hard character. Or at the very least a character that you need practice in. Mhm. Mm Thank you, Devin. <laughs> Thank you, Devin. <laughs> no, but Devin's like, what, what he said was that this character's hard to play, and it's just like, yeah. So it's like, if, you're, if your moves don't have the correct intent, then VB's getting all the space they need to pull out, pull out menu. And I think Psych Up mm -hmm. is online right now. No reaction. I would have thought that would have been a uh, jab lock. Psych Up's still online. Potentially going to be looking for an up throw right now. Ooh. Up tilt, I think up tilt literally like whiffs Pikachu sometimes. I believe that. Oh my Bop. god. Down air. Did you hear that scream? That was a scream of agony. I bounce online right now, which means Fawn oh. has to respect Vivi's neutral a little bit more and he's not really finding an answer to it. Great meaty F smash right there on the neutral getup. Oh, and nice actually. Catch. Catching the uh, the zoom. Beautiful. Great anti-air. Beautiful. Fonse, you want to keep jumping? All right, look at Bet. this. Bet. The, also, another thing that Fonse can really utilize with Pikachu is just pancaking. Pancake oh, yeah. Pikachu goes right through, uh, right through. I think both the fizz, both one and two uh, fizz and fizzle, goes through a lot of projectiles, goes through sizz. It's crazy. Can Fonse just like crouch walk under Zapple? No, I think Zapple does touch the floor. Okay. That's why I'm not sure also if, if Frizzle um, if Fizzle also touches the floor. But definitely the first Ooh. level, you're, you're fine. Oh, yeah. Woo! <laughs> Fawn just slowly walked up. Ooh, and these great parries coming out from Vivi. Oh, okay. Oh, that's Almost scary. Catching Vivi going a little bit too high right there. Yeah, Psych Up active. Yeah. Opting for a forward rather than up throw. Kaboom? Yeah. I think up throw might not have killed just yet, so BB kind of had to kind of had to get rid of the psych up and mm -hmm. instead tried to set up for yeah. a ledge trap. But a forward air is going to be doing it. Fawn I, shaking their head. I just think I think Fawn just kind of ended it there. Yeah. Yeah, that did not feel like a a comfortable pick. Goodbye. Yeah, just. Interesting. Well, we have Dill versus Vivi mm -hmm. next, which means we get a break. Yay. Which means you should subscribe to Hazard 3000 on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube, where VODs are uploaded instantly at the speed of Spectrum. At the speed Mostly of Spectrum. Instantly. So if you're not subscribed to us, like why? Please. Like why? Twitch Prime. We it's come literally out here. It, it helps Commentate so much. Them. Please. They do production. They help the players get more. Like, hello, guys, please. 